Hello everybody, this is me Johan here. As you guys know, the OnePlus 6 launched uh, recently, just two months back, in the month of May 2018. Uh, it was an improvement over the OnePlus 5T. I mean, they put an all glass back to improve the overall aesthetics of the phone. Um, Qualcomm's latest uh, Snapdragon 845 uh, octa-core processor which resulted in you know, blazing fast performance an improved set of cameras and uh, overall uh, extremely well priced uh, with the base 6GB RAM uh, 64GB variant uh, being priced at just rupees 34,999 so that's 35,000 rupees uh, there were a lot of things to love about OnePlus 6 but I still felt there were a few things they could have improved on and I feel they can improve on it uh, with the upcoming OnePlus 6T there is no official confirmation as of now uh, that the 6T would be launching uh, anytime this year. But going by the trends of OnePlus, I mean the trends they followed uh, uh, ever since the OnePlus 3T uh, was launched in November of 2016 uh, uh, and followed by the uh, OnePlus 5T which was launched in November of 2017. Going by these trends, uh, it's safe to assume that OnePlus 60 uh, will be launched in November of 2018 this year. The things I would really like to see improved in the upcoming OnePlus 60 would be the screen. Don't get me wrong, it's a great screen. There's just one con in the screen. I hope you guys guess where I'm going with this. And yes, OnePlus, if you're listening, Please get rid of that ridiculous notch. But going by OnePlus's uh, style of design, uh, of copying Apple uh, for many, many years, uh, looking at the latest renders of the latest iPhones that are going to come out this year in 2018, uh, you guys can have a look at them. As you guys saw, in the latest render pick I just put up previously uh, that all the iPhones that are going to come out this year will be coming with notches so OnePlus uh, will most likely continue the trend of uh, uh, putting a notch display this time around with the OnePlus 60 as well but in my personal opinion I, I would really love OnePlus uh, to go ahead and uh, put a completely bezel-less screen uh, in the upcoming uh, OnePlus 60 the next change I would like to see in OnePlus 6T uh, would be its battery capacity. Uh, the OnePlus 6 comes with a 3,300 milliampere battery. Uh, for the OnePlus 6T, I think OnePlus, I need to bump up the ba battery uh, MAH by you know at least 10 percent, make it a 3,600 milliampere battery. So an extra 10 percent of battery would uh, result in maybe close to 45, maybe one hour of additional screen on time which uh, would be very beneficial. Next would be its resolution. Uh, the OnePlus 6 currently sports a 1080p uh, full HD display uh, which is an excellent display uh, but with the OnePlus 60 I would love them to go ahead and put a 2K screen on the phone. Uh, bump it all the way up to 1440p but that would also significantly uh, increase the price of the phone at least by 5k so the 6 GB RAM 64 GB variant might uh, land up being priced at probably 39999 so going by that trend OnePlus will definitely not want to uh, you know disappoint their customers so they will most likely go in for an improved optic AMOLED full HD screen uh, this time around with the OnePlus 60 so I would in that regard I would love them to go ahead and uh, put an improved and even more uh, improved quality app, optic AMOLED screen on the OnePlus 60. I think we will most I think we will most likely uh, see a 2K screen uh, either in the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 8. One of those two phones uh, will uh, probably see a bump in the resolution. The next would be its speakers. As you guys know the OnePlus 6 uh, uh, came with a single speaker right at its bottom. 
And this, to me, was the biggest con in the OnePlus 6. The speaker was just not loud enough. So I just feel OnePlus should include uh, stereo speakers for the OnePlus 6T, like just like how they include it in the one uh, the iPhone 10. Uh, one speaker is uh, added along with the earpiece on top uh, and one right at the bottom. So I think that would give it uh, a very good uh, uh, overall audio experience. So stereo speakers are a must uh, in the OnePlus 60 in my opinion. Next the cameras. I would like uh, the quality of the images taken on the OnePlus 60 on the selfie cam uh, to be improved. And also, uh, the low light uh, pics taken on the 60 uh, need to be improved. I mean, the low light pics taken on the OnePlus 6 were good. They were a significant improvement over the OnePlus 5T. But I still noticed uh, that some shots were a little dark, darker than required because its uh, closest competitor, the ASUS Zenfone 5Z, uh, is capable of producing uh, more light in low light pics. I mean, the cameras used on that. Uh, are capable of producing more light uh, during nighttime photography. So I would like them uh, to add more light in the you know low light pics and also significantly reduce uh, the amount of uh, noise in low light pics. The next thing would be its processor. You know as per rumors uh, the OnePlus 60 could be one of the first phones uh, uh, that could be using uh, Qualcomm's uh, uh, latest uh, Snapdragon 855 optical processor which will be more powerful than the 845 used in the current flagships right now so I think that would significantly uh, improve the performance of the phone so most likely though I would really like to see the OnePlus 60 uh, come with Qualcomm's uh, 855 optical processor the last thing would be its price uh, as you guys know last year OnePlus uh, was able to maintain uh, the price of the OnePlus 5 and the 5T uh, to be around 33,000 rupees for the 6 GB RAM, 64 GB variant. But that again happened only because of one reason, because both the phones used the same processor, the Snapdragon 835 octa-core processor. So there was no change in the processor. Going by OnePlus's history, the OnePlus 3 was launched at 27,999 in 2016 but the OnePlus 3T was priced at 29999 for the same variant of 6GB RAM 64GB variant and why did that happen yeah the main reason behind that was the processor because the OnePlus 3 came with a Snapdragon 820 processor and the OnePlus 3T housed the Snapdragon 821 processor so it's safe to assume one thing that the OnePlus 6T uh, might be priced about rupees 2000 more uh, than the OnePlus 6 this year because uh, if OnePlus lands up putting in the Snapdragon 855 optical processor. I expect the price to be 36,999 uh, for the 6 GB RAM, 64 GB variant, and about 2,000 rupees, uh, and about a 2,000 rupee increment in every other model that comes after that. The 8 GB RAM, 128 GB variant, and the 8 GB RAM, 256 GB variants. If OnePlus can still manage. Uh, to maintain the price of the upcoming OnePlus 6T at 34999 despite housing uh, a Snapdragon 855 optical processor inside it would help them in uh, you know keeping their share market intact because there are a lot of phones that are coming out nowadays from Honor uh, recently from ASUS and even from uh, Xiaomi uh, that are giving uh, similar specs for a lesser price so if OnePlus can actually price it at the same 34999 for its base variant, I, I think that would be uh, great uh, for OnePlus uh, overall. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys really loved the video. I'd like to know what you guys thought. I mean, you guys think I was right with all the uh, changes that need to be made in the upcoming uh, flag flagship from OnePlus uh, in the month of November 2018 this year, the OnePlus 60. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys differ in your opinions. I'd really like to know what uh, you guys have to say regarding this. So if you guys really love this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up from you guys. And if you guys are interested in following me from here on, I suggest you guys to go ahead and click the subscribe button right down there.
and right after that uh, hit click on the bell icon that's a notifications icon so you'll get to know of the latest and greatest videos I'll be putting up on YouTube from now onwards so thank you guys for being with me on this journey today I wish you guys a tremendous day ahead of you ciao for now